Have you ever wondered what happens when you turn the key inside your car ignition? In this simple video, we will explain all the steps involved in this process, from the ignition to the operation of the internal combustion engine. When you first get in your car, the first thing you do after putting the seatbelts on is to insert the key in the ignition switch to start the engine. When the switch is turned on, the electric circuit between the battery and the starter motor is closed. The starter motor is an important element for the starting system. It allows the engine to reach the proper RPMs so as to initiate the engine's operation under its own power. The starter motor essentially transforms the electrical energy into mechanical energy. The starter motor is coupled to the flywheel, which in turn provides to transmit the motion to the crankshaft. Now, the combustion cycle takes place inside the engine cylinders. So, the starter motor is disconnected. Now, let's see what happens inside the engine, taking the example of a common four-stroke engine. A four-stroke engine, it represents an example of efficiency and perfect synchronization. It converts the explosions that occur inside its combustion chambers into motion. The aim of this engine is to use this energy to provide movement and transfer it to the wheels so that the vehicle can move. It all takes place inside the cylinder. Here, we can find the combustion chamber where the explosions occur. The cylinder is basically the space through which the piston travels. The purpose of the piston is to transfer force from expanding gas in the cylinder to the crankshaft via a piston rod or a connecting rod, so that the back and forth linear motion of the pistons is transformed into a circular motion which can power the wheels. But let's see this process more in detail by disassembling the engine. The term four-stroke is referring to the cycle of engine operation which requires four strokes of the piston. First stroke, intake. The valve must be in the open position while the piston pulls an air-fuel mixture into the cylinder by producing vacuum pressure through its downward motion. The air-fuel ratio is generally about 14.7 to 1. That's because fuel cannot ignite alone. It is the oxygen in the air, in fact, that provides the combustion of the fuel. What happens now that the air-fuel mixture is inside the cylinder? Second stroke compression. During this stage, both the intake and exhaust valves are closed, and the piston moves up the chamber to the top. This causes the compression of the fuel-air mixture which decreases 10 times its volume. At this point, pressure rises drastically as the air and fuel molecules are compressed together colliding with each other and increasing the temperature. Now we are ready for the explosion. Third stroke, combustion and expansion. At the top of the compression stroke, the spark plug fires, igniting the compressed air-fuel mixture. This causes an explosion. As the fuel burns, it expands, increasing the pressure inside the cylinder and driving the piston downward, moving the twist that rotates the crankshaft, which will convert the energy of the explosion into rotary motion. Now, let's see the fourth and final stroke, which is called exhaust. During the exhaust stroke, the piston once again returns to the top while the exhaust valve is open. This action expels the spent air-fuel mixture through the exhaust valve. The four-stroke cycle is complete, but it does not stop here. At a speed of 6,000 RPM, it repeats up to 50 times per second, causing 200 explosions per second inside each cylinder of this four-stroke engine. More than 10 years in industrial supplies have led JIS to become a qualified partner for some of the most important automobile manufacturing companies. Providing its technical support over a wide range of industrial components necessary during the production process of many types of vehicles. In the next video, we will explain why do cars need to shift gears and how the manual transmission works. If you found this video useful, please let us know by leaving a like and a comment. You can also share it and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Find out our next projects by visiting our website, jiscompany.com.